Hello, this afternoon we're sitting in the living room of Baba Zayed Muhammad, longtime civil rights community activist. Baba Zahi, uh, could you give us a little enlightenment on your life? And I mean, absolutely start from the beginning because we want to know it all. Well, let me try and do it this way. I, I've never been introduced or described as a, a civil rights organizer or activist. And there's a reason for that, because I've never embraced the term. Uh, from the beginning, though, just to more to your point, uh, human rights is probably closer to, 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 to where I am because I come out of this tradition. I come out of the, the Malcolm tradition. Malcolm gave us the difference. I did come of age as a child of the 60s. And of course, the civil rights movement was, was a part of it, a huge part of it. And what the civil rights went through in terms of its own transformations and, and how the nationalist community is probably best epitomized Malcolm influenced that and then helped change that as the decade progressed and as the movement progressed. It has a lot more to do with who I am and who I became. Um, I'm the son of a, of a very proud, hardworking single mother. Uh, I'm a Black August baby. Black August is a, a time of month that was conceptualized by the Black Panther Party originally to uh, pay homage to the late George and Jonathan Jackson for the heroic things that they did in that month back in the early 70s. But it's also a time where there are no holidays celebrating white supremacy in the And it's a time of some very serious resistance to white supremacy in our history. Um, attempt by Jonathan Jackson to liberate some of his comrades from a, a courtroom in Marin County, California, to be sure, is are one of those highlights. Uh, my actual birthday is the day that uh, the organizers of the Haitian Revolution came together and decided that it was time to commence the hostilities that would make that revolution. And this is one of the revolutions that we won. So all that's Black August. That's, I, I, that's the stuff that I immediately come out of and comes to mind and really shaped who I am. It's August 14th, by the way, I have to say that. Um, I watched like a lot of children of my generation. Literally the world changed right in front of my eyes, whether it was from the television, from the news, or what was happening to people around me in the street. Uh, Many of my family were in the Vietnam War and were, were scarred by the Vietnam War. Uh, many of my family were survivors of uh, previous wars and helped shape my manhood like men do who come through that kind of training. Uh, but when I had to find my own way, I kind of did it the hard way. Uh, when I found myself ultimately making some difficult and bad decisions that young black men are faced with it, as they reach that critical point in their development, late teens, early 20s. Um, and I found myself seeking fulfillment in, in ways that people consider very destructive. And in, 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 in my late teens, I was not the kind of person that you'd be sitting and interested in talking to about anything. Uh, and, and the throes of that is those things you know, peak and decline in people's lives, sometimes people change. And you've heard me say this a thousand times, and I'll come right to it. Uh, over the course of some of my activity, uh, my customer had a book laying on the table that I was just intrigued with. Because as a young child of the 60s, I heard, and, and I was always taken aback how Black men especially would talk about this man who I had never seen or heard of. And, 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 and having been raised by a, an, an education serious mother, I did have good skills. And I've read the book, and when I've read the book, of course, I realized how thoroughly uh, I was being played out, thinking that I was being a big, that I was being a player, 